All right, hello there. Uh, I've been asked a couple times to make a texture modding tutorial, and I'm just going to do that really quickly. This is a very simple process. Um, I imagine this video is not too, too long. Uh, so this video is going to be in two parts. The first part, I'm going to show you how to make your own. And then the second part, I'm just going to show you how to install custom textures. So if you're not interested in making your own, but you still want to use some that you find online, you can just skip ahead into the video. There'll be a timestamp in the description. Now, before you skip ahead, I want to take care of something really quickly, uh, and that's the game ID, because you are going to need to know this. So for whatever game you want to uh, apply your texture mods to, you're going to need to know the game ID. This is very easy to find. All you have to do is open up Dolphin Emulator, right-click on the game of interest, select properties, and then go on over to this info tab. And as you can see right here, we have a game ID. So for Mario Superstar Baseball, we have GYQE01. That is the game ID. This will come up later on, um, but yeah. So I'm going to start off this video about talking how to make your own texture mods. And again, this is a very simple process. Um, what you're going to want to do, this is this is utilizing Dolphin's own tools. I don't know if there's a way to do this on other platforms. I don't know if there's a way to make texture mods for Nintendo, for example. Because um, this is utilizing Dolphin tools. So what you're going to want to do is just simply launch the game of interest. So I'm going to do Mario Super Zero Baseball. I'm going to pause it right now. And all you're going to want to do is just play the game up until the point where, uh, up until you load the texture of interest. So before you load that texture, what you're going to want to do is, you know, this is why I pause the game. Click on this graphics tab and go over to advanced. This is where all the magic is going to happen. So we have this texture dumping t uh, box here. Go ahead and select enable. Now, what this does is that every time you load a texture in the game, Dolphin is going to ha go ahead and store that image to your computer. Now, it'll be in a nice, neat folder, so don't worry about clogging up your computer. You can delete everything afterwards. But go ahead and check this box, close this tab, uh, and then just play the game up until the point um, once you load that texture. I forgot to turn off the audio. <laughs> That's that max vol volume. There we go. So, uh, for in this case, I'm just going to try to edit this uh, background texture here on uh, on um, in this game. So, oops. Let me try to change the controller. There we go. So, yeah. If I wanted to change uh, this screen, I could go ahead and change these icons now because I've loaded them. Uh, so, I've loaded all the textures that I'm interested in. So now I'm gonna go ahead and close this emulation. Now, where are those images? Good question. What you're going to want to do is open up your file explorer and go to your documents uh, tab. There should be a folder under here called Dolphin Emulator where Dolphin had installed to. Uh, go ahead and open that up. Go to dump, then textures. And then here, there should be a folder titled uh, named after the game ID that I showed you earlier on. Open this up and in here should be all the textures that got dumped earlier on. Um, so, yeah, we got a lot to work with. Now, here are the uh, icon, you know, the character icons that I mentioned earlier, if you wanted to edit those. Uh, I said I, I want to just edit this guy. So, we're just going to go ahead and delete all this other stuff. We don't need it. Um, and just focus on these textures right here that we wanted to edit. So, again, don't need any of this. Can go ahead and delete that. Um, so this cloud texture was like overlaying in the background, and then we have uh, this texture here, um, which is the background image. So now we're gonna want to go ahead and edit these. This is a very simple process again. So use any photo editing, you know, software application website that you know of. This is a free website. I'm gonna be using. Very simple. I know there's applications that do a better job. But uh, again, I'm just trying to show how simple the process is. So um, all you're going to want to do is import this image into whatever photo editing um, application you choose to use. Important thing to note here that these images have specific names. Do not rename them because that'll mess everything up. I know it'll be very like convenient to rename these to be like main menu image or something like that. But that will mess up things up. So. Do not rename them. Do not change the file type from PNG to something else. Make sure it stays. The name is exactly the same. The file type is exactly the same. 
I'm going to go ahead and import this image into here. This is our background texture. So I want to edit this to something else. I'm going to change it to a different picture I have over here, which is um, Bowser's Castle, because I think this might look cool. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to save it as a PNG. I'm not going to change the name. Just going to go ahead and download this new image here. Um, and then this guy over here, I don't want this annoying cloud here. So I'm going to want to um, get rid of that. I don't want it to, uh, I don't want a cloud overlaying in the background. So I'm going to want to change this guy to just a transparent image. Um, should be able to, oh, there we go. And now I have that. So I just got rid of this. It's just a blank transparent image. Um, yeah, so now we've edited the textures we want. Um, we can go ahead and double check this real quick. Um, this is the transparent image. And then this is the background image that we wanted. So these are two textures I'm editing. I did not rename them. All I did was edit them. We don't need the same more, so now I go ahead and delete this. Now that we have the edited textures um, all ready, again, do not rename them. Do not change the file type from PNG to JPEG or anything else. Leave everything alone. Now we're going to want to go ahead and install them. So the first step is going to be to take these textures. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut them. You're going to want to go ahead and put them into the correct folder. The folder that you're going to want to put it into can be found here. Go to your Documents tab, find the Dolphin Emulator folder, click on that. And then instead of Dump, which we're, we were using earlier, you want to go ahead and click on Load, Textures. And then I have a bunch of folders here. Ignore these. these. This is just where I save all the textures. You're going to want to make a folder that is titled the Game ID, which we found earlier in the video. Again, it's under Properties, Info, Game ID. It has to match up exactly. Make a folder in here titled the game ID. Open it up. These are where all your uh, custom, custom textures are going to be. So go ahead and, and place them in here. Close this folder. We're all done now. Open up Dolphin. Click on graphics. Again, go into the advanced tab. This time we're going to disable texture dumping. We don't want to keep dumping textures or else your game's going to lag. Uh, now you're going to want to select load custom textures and then if you have a strong computer, uh, definitely click on Prefetch Custom Textures. This will load in the textures once you load up the game. And if you have a strong computer, this will help your game load much faster. It'll prevent lag due to uh, custom texture loading. Now we're all good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this game, start it up. And we should see that the main menu has changed. Um, so give it a second to load. And there we go. We have changed the main menu to now this cool Bowser's uh, castle image. Um, so again, this is a very simple process. I think, you know, it, it, it's a little bit weird with dolphin settings, but it's very easy to understand. It's very easy to uh, get into. Now, this was a very simple example because it was very easy to see which texture I wanted to modify. Uh, I had gotten questions on this. If you want to do more complex uh, more complex um, modifying uh, mods, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to do. So, for example, uh, let me find this is blue birdo. I had made a texture mod which changed birdo to like a bluish color. So, I was modifying birdo's character uh, model. These are all the textures that have to do with birdo's character model. So, you can see it's sometimes not as straightforward. Uh, some of these are like a couple pixels large, and you have to somehow figure out that this is part of Birdo's texture. Um, these are like character IDs. This is the captain image. This is for Birdo's bat. These are some textures for her ears, and it gets a little bit weird sometimes. So uh, sometimes there's a little bit of trial and error going on, you know, trying to figure out which textures exactly you're trying to modify. but. That is the hardest part. Once you find the textures that you want to modify, actually changing them and then putting them into the game is an incredibly simple process. So uh, I hope this video helped you out. Um, again, this was a very simple, simple tutorial on how to make your own texture mods and install them.